If I'm um, welcome back to the channel. Good morning. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thanks for being here to everyone. So as you've seen from the topic today's, as you've seen from the title, today's topic is a slightly controversial one about how to overcome feelings of lust. And um, it it's a topic that tends to create a lot of mixed feelings in people. But I just want to say right off the bat that lust is not love. Let's just get that out of the way. Um, the biblical description says lust is a temptation and an evil that overcomes many of us in, in today's world. Um, the difference with lust and love is that lust seeks to use others for our own gratification. So you're using this person knowing full well that you don't share the same feelings or even any respect whatsoever. Yours is just for your own personal gain. And if we're going to overcome it, we need to recognize that it has evil intents, that it's purely a selfish emotion. And um, there's several Bible verses uh, that I'll be giving you as we go along. But one thing I'd like to say is that you need to remember to pray for strength in times of temptation. We just did a video the other day on temptation on Monday. Uh, temptation can leave you feeling like you have, you, you're in, in despair, especially when you've been trying on your own to, to solve these problems and you're getting nowhere. At this junction, I can say that in case you have been attempting to sort out this issue on yourself and you have failed, in addition to prayer, you can also see a doctor or a counselor. These are people who are trained and they can also help you in this situation. So let's... I'd like to start off by saying that it is completely normal to experience sexual desire. Um, not really lust, but sexual desire. Your feelings could be focused on a particular person, and as you become aware of yourself and your sexuality, that is normal. It is normal to be drawn to people and to be attracted to the opposite sex. When you begin to get too drawn to activities like masturbating and watching pornography, then a problem is beginning to set in. Um, sometimes these desires can be overwhelming and even unwanted. You might find yourself feeling them, but you don't necessarily want them. If you can't shake off these uncomfortable feelings, you don't need to worry. There are things you can do. You can train yourself to manage them. One of the first things you can do is to make a list of the reasons why you want to resist that temptation because you need to you need to be focused. You need to give yourself something they're working towards. Clearly define your values. That can help you strengthen your resolve. When you set a goal for yourself, whether it's eating healthier or getting better at resisting temptation, in this case, sexual temptation, it helps when you have a clear idea of why you're trying to resist it. You can write down your reasons why overcoming lust is important to you especially if you're in the category that doesn't want to do these things and you're trying to understand why you keep falling back maybe into the same temptation at any time you feel your resolve starting to slip you can go back and read your notes you could put down things like um, i want to wait on having sex until i'm married because sexual intimacy is a sacred thing and it's special to me and it's in line with my christian values when your brain starts to digest fact, 
it's very easy for it to block off um, the wrong thoughts you replace the wrong thoughts with the right ones so if you you can tell yourself I'm resisting temptation because I want to be faithful to my spouse if it is something that you've been holding dear to yourself reminding yourself saying it aloud or even writing it and reading what you've written will clarify and block out what is trying to seep in to to divert you from your course self-discipline is an important part of spiritual beliefs so if you want to improve your relationship with god you can focus on that as a way to as, as one of the reasons that you can list to resist right if we look at some of the things um, that the bible says in Matthew 5 28 it says but I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart so again reading the Bible reading looking up the verses that address this topic can be of help 1 John 2 16 says for all that is in the world the desires of the flesh and the desires of the eyes and the pride of life is not from the father but from the world Galatians 5.16 says, But I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. The desires of the flesh, of course, are lust. It is, as we had said in the beginning, lust is selfish. It only thinks about itself, and that's why you find elderly, like men, attacking babies, children, small girls, because they're not thinking. They're not considering at all anything about this person who they are violating in this manner. If you just thought for one second you would never find yourself doing such a thing but it is a spirit remember it's a spirit and with many times spirit consumes you and it kind of takes you over so you you lose your your normal sensible brain so making a list of reasons to resist is one thing the other thing you can do is to set boundaries for yourself you can avoid temptations um for instance if every time you get on your computer you're tempted to look at porn you can download a browser extension that will block any pop-ups that come up with such suggestions so that you before you even think of clicking on it it's gone if for instance you're um, struggling with sexual feelings about a particular person maybe you were engaged or you're married or you're Whatever the case may be, you have a girlfriend. Limit how much time you spend with them in private. Of course, if it's somebody you're planning to um, get into a long-term relationship with, you will need to be around them because that's the only way you get to know each other. But avoid being in private places where it can be easier to give in to these urges. The other thing you can do is to use your computer in public. If you're in a public place it's highly unlikely that you're going to be able to open inappropriate sites but because it's not always possible and a lot of people work from home nowadays it's easier to just put up something that will block and there are many there are many um, web ex browser extensions that you can use to block them if you're going like to maybe out to a bar it's not everybody who is watching this video that's Christian you could be going out to the bar but maybe you probably don't want to indulge in these things you can go with a friend make sure you go with a friend who is probably slightly more sober minded than you generally we all have that sensible friend go out with that type of a person who when they see like you're beginning to flirt and get too drunk will make sure you leave and get home safely um, this is not even just for last but to help yourself avoid diseases there's a lot of stuff going around getting drugged um, I have a, a distant cousin that was killed a few like a week to his graduation because he went out with friends and they got drunk they were already preparing for their graduation and in the heat of the moment or whatever happened nobody really knows but somehow someone managed to poison him and we just buried him in a very sad ceremony just the other day because he was so excited he was just getting ready to graduate it wasn't more than two weeks at max I think it was one so when you're not in your senses it's not only the last issue but you can also find yourself you know 
malice, malicious people everywhere. Someone can just slip something into a drink. So it's always good to have a friend who's sober around. Yes, they look like they're dampening your fun at that mo- at that moment when you're really hell bent on wrecking your life and having fun in quotes as you call it. But later on the next morning when you wake up with this crazy hangover and you remember that this person got you out, you'll be eternally grateful. You'll be very happy you had them. So if you're lasting over a specific person, avoid checking their social media all the time or doing things that's going to get their attention so that they reciprocate and really come for you now. It helps It helps if you know that you have something you're purposing to do, like avoiding falling into lust. Proverbs 6.26 says, Do not desire her beauty in your heart and do not let her capture you with her eyelashes. This is a flirt. It's a prostitute who bats their eyes at everybody and tries to lure you. In 1 Corinthians 6.18, it says, Flee from sexual immorality. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body. But the sexual immorality person sins against his own body. You can imagine, you're actually hurting yourself. You know, it's, it's better when you're doing things that are out there and maybe external but when now you begin to ruin your own life your own self it's 10 times worse so i hope this um, video has brought some help to someone out there who could be struggling with these feelings there are places you can go i'll try and put some of the links in the description for you if you want to read up on it more i didn't do very wide research because i was trying not to make the video too long but there, you can even just search and you will find a lot of topics that can help you. And as I said, there's professional help. You can see a counselor, a doctor, a pastor. These are all people who can help you get over and conquer these feelings. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have not subscribed, if the video was helpful, please give a like. And if you feel like this content is something you'd like to watch regularly, please consider subscribing. 